Hey everyone, welcome to Drag. So Drag is an all-in-one workspace for Gmail. We've built it to stop teams from having to swap between different tools in order to run their business, particularly if they're email-focused teams. So Drag's used for lots of different reasons, everything from sales inquiries through to marketing management, through to running a help desk, project management, support, the list goes on. And what I'm gonna to do today is a really quick demo, and I'll use the help desk as an example to explain how and where you may be able to use Drag within your organization. So what you're seeing in front of you here is a real-time help desk and it sits inside Gmail. And this help desk has been set up so that support at emails, when emailed, will come into this board in real time and your entire team can help organize, can respond to the emails and can close off tickets. It's really easy to set this up. So all we need to do is set up a shared inbox and we can call this one support and we can add the email address that we're looking to collaborate on. And as soon as we press create, that immediately connects with this board. And so what that means is that anyone who emails into support at will come into this board in real time. And we've also got this board set up so it's collaborative. So anyone within our team, in this circumstance, there's eight people here that can be in their own Gmail, can navigate to this board, and they can see all of the emails that are coming in and therefore manage the entire help desk function within your business inside Gmail here. And a really useful point also is that this collaboration works across domains. So what we mean by that is you may have consultants or contractors that aren't under the same domain as you, but they can still share these boards as long as they're a Gmail or G Suite user. So now going into a card, we can click into any one of these cards and you can see it's a real-time email. So really similar to traditional email, Fred has been talking to Jasmine and Jasmine's been talking to Fred and we can see the entire email thread. But what's really useful is that this is actually collaborative. So anyone in your team can see this communication. And more importantly, anyone in your team can actually jump in and reply. So we can see here, we've got this set up so that myself or Jasmine or the support at email can communicate within this thread. And again, it's all real time and it's completely visible within your internal team. We have some extra features that make it really useful to help with the collaboration piece as well. So we have color coding to help segment boards. We can assign these cards to individuals or multiple people within the team. We can set due dates and those due dates actually sync with Google Calendar. So it notifies you or sets a reminder for you. We can use shared labels and we can move these cards between different columns within the boards and also to entirely different boards also. And then also we have the internal chat here. So really useful when you need to gather information internally before you actually do that reply to the user. There's some things that work behind the scenes also, such as collision detection and shared drafts and things like that, but I won't go into the detail of those specifically now. Now, if we navigate back to the board, there's lots on the board also. So the really common things that people like to set initially are what view they want. So Kanban is a very common one used, certainly for help desk because it helps understand a single view where the status of everything is. But lots of people like the simple and traditional list view, so you can set that up yourself. There's also various bulk actions, so we can see lots of different things that we can do here on multiple cards. And then we have some visibility within the contents of the card also, so we can click here and we can see the information that's in there. So let me show you that quickly. You can click into here, and aside actually from just the email contents, there's also tasks and notes. So what you find lots of the time is the emails that come in will have some attributed tasks to them. So basically things that you need to do to complete that email. So you can extract that and make that tangible for you or your team to do. And in addition to that, notes. So notes is just an empty space similar to a Google Docs where you can add all the information that you need to to help make your team more productive when it comes to closing a ticket or in the case of sales to perhaps deliver some information. We also understand the relationship between perhaps a sales prospect that then moves into being a customer that then moves into maybe a land and expand process that you have. So in this case, this is a, a customer inquiry, perhaps they're gonna to move to an upsell. And what you can do is take that and you can drag it back into the sales CRM so that the sales team can then handle with that inquiry once it's being closed from the, the support team. And we have some extra features here also. So we have automation reports and templates and let me take you through them really quickly now. So automations are useful to be able to do all of the things in an automated way that I've been demonstrating to you manually here. So if I click onto one of these, for example, we can see that on the specified board where the sender email contains Duda at, the action is to assign it to Duda, but there's lots of different things that you can do. Again, you can see all the information on the help center. And these automations are evolving really quickly. So as we add new features, those automations will quickly come into this space here so that, again, you don't have to do all of that manual repeatable stuff within your team, which really helps with efficiency. 
We also have reports. So reports are really useful to ensure you have accountability around what's happening. So we can see here, for example, the activity on this board. So number of new emails, number of new cards, number of new tasks. But if you need to go into some more granular detail, what we have is board activity. And board activity will show you all of the micro things that are happening there. So drag and drop email replies, comments, archives. You can do all of the filtering that you need to within there also. And then finally, leaderboards. A so leaderboard is just a place for us to understand who's doing what in any given time, which is really useful. And then we have email templates. So email templates are really useful. Um, they help you bring your team together and have one single consistent tone of voice. So if we look at the support template, for example, what we can see is that a really simple email template. So you can customize these and you can add custom fields. And then what you can, so you can customize these, you can add various custom fields. But what's really important is you can actually make these templates smarter. So we can add sequences to them. So what that means is that the follow-ups that happen, whether it's a support inquiry to ensure that your ticket is closed off, or perhaps a sales inquiry where you're chasing the status, get some decision-making in place, or project management, or to-do lists, or tasks, or anything, that is another form of automation that happens by email. So what we can do is we can set a follow-up to happen X number of days in, so let's say two days in at 9 a.m. with a subject, and again, we can customize that with the custom fields that we want to. And then what it means is that whenever we want to actually go back to one of these cards and we want to create a reply, we can create a reply here. And then we can use these templates and we can select one of them and it automatically populates here. And more importantly, what you then do is you can set the custom field there. So the value in this case may be Jane. And so in the future email follow-ups that we set for two days afterwards or X number of days afterwards, it carries across that custom value. So it really is all of the work done for you. You can also see some small extra features so that we have email tracking and things like that in place also. There's a completely different use case which I haven't talked about and I'm going to really briefly go over that. So what you've seen in this entire board here is focused really around email communication. So emails are coming in and your team is replying to them and being as efficient as they can to close off tickets when it comes to support or to generate sales or leads if it's sales prospecting or through the sales exec function or whatever it may be. But there's other areas also, such as to-do list and task management. So what you can see here is that these actually aren't emails. What these are are independent tasks. So these boards can be either email inquiries only, such as this here, or they can be tasks only, such as this here, or the boards can actually be a blend, which is what you're seeing here. So we can set up simple boards, similar to how you would use perhaps Trello, which is a list of tasks that you need to get done to deliver a small project or perhaps some small things that you need to do in your day-to-day. -day. Or you can use Drag more comprehensively if you have a really big project management process that you need to get done also. And that's an overview of Drag, and thanks for your time.